when I'm recording this, it is, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. And I am not working at my day job. I just don't feel like it. Uh, I'm absolutely sick and tired of my home office, which constitutes a folding table with my workstation from my office office set up in the kids' toy room upstairs. It's obnoxious and I hate it. I already had a hard enough time with my day job anyway, and now this just doesn't help. I am ready to start milling the inside of the shell, and I'll show you what I've got set up. Of course, most of you who have been following my channel for a while are familiar with the jig. Uh, it's just four wheels, and the blade is lowered, so the shell's not going to turn freely. Uh, let me get that out of there. It's as basic as it gets. I don't do fancy jigs, even though I would like to do fancier or nicer jigs. Um, so anyway, just four casters, decent quality casters. Um, this is designed for tracking purposes to make sure it doesn't go left or right, but really that doesn't serve much purpose at all. As long as the wheels are square, uh, this is kind of superfluous because uh, these bushings, I guess, for lack of a better word, bumpers, buffers, whatever, uh, do the job way better, way better. Now, this style is brand new to this drum. In the past, I've just had a couple of blocks stuck right there. In fact, you can see the holes drilled uh, for the different size shells I've done. And those worked okay, but you know, they kept it locked on these wheels back here, but they didn't do a very good job keeping it square on these wheels back here. And because this is such a narrow shell, you can see that it's just getting the edges of the wheels, the casters. I needed to make sure that this thing was not going anywhere. And now it is not going anywhere because I made uh, much more effective bumpers or whatever you want to call them. So they're there. The thing does not, the shell does not twist. It sits nicely on all four wheels. And so there should be no problem in getting this thing milled out nice and thin. Then I need to decide how thick my rear rings are going to be. Thick that way, not thick that way. I want them to go down about that far, but what I'm prob what I what I'd like to do is shape the interior edge a little bit. On all the past drums I've done, it's always just been a square inset. Um, I've got a a bull nosed router bit. Anyway, it's a it's the half round instead of the and it's good for carving coves, um, very narrow coves. Anyway, I was thinking about that, that that might look nice to ease that transition down to the rest of the shell. We'll see if I can pull it off or not.
So I'm editing this portion of the video right here and realized I forgot to tell you which kind of bit I'm using. Or I forgot to push record. Could be either one. I forget to push record all the time. In fact, I've done it three times trying to record this section right here, this little insert. Anyway, this is the bit I'm using. One of those. It is a round nose bit, not a bull nose bit. I apologize for the camera angle. It becomes clear eventually what I'm doing. Now, what do you think? I actually really like it. You can see that I didn't quite get the uh, re-ring, the walnut re-ring flush with the rest of the shell. My disc sander is a little bit dull and I don't feel like replacing the paper with that much l less real estate to remove. She can, I can, should be able to get these flushed up now. I think that looks pretty sweet. Those burn marks out of the inside. Okay, this is about as simple as it gets. Just an old hole saw, worn out. Uh, some carpet tape, double sided tape, uh, holding some 100 grit sandpaper on there. And that is going to clean up the inside uh, router marks in the router bit and the burn marks and it's also going to clean up the the edge right there. I've got the drill press on its highest setting and I need to take it easy so I don't push too hard and sand too aggressively. That's why it's 100 grit not like 80 or 60. Alright, here we go.
do like that contour inside there. And this is just the first coat of oil. Um, obviously no wax on it yet. You can see the final thickness there. I believe that's right around 3 sixteenths. It's a little under a quarter. The sun is setting so it's sort of hard to see everything because of the glare.